What is going on, you guys? It is your boy Bobby Ray back again, and I have got some World of Warcraft news for you. This is for you retail players, and this is a question that I was wondering, even as a classic player kind of guy, it was something that I was thinking about on occasion. I'll be real with you. So, the big thing about Shadowlands is that the levels are going to be reduced all the way down to 60. They're going to be doing a level squish. And my question, the question that came to my mind is I was like, well, what if we have a 120 level character right now, all the way max level up there at 120, what level are they going to be? And guess what? We finally have 100% confirmation about what level that was. This article is brought to us by GameRant.com, very, very reputable website. I've used them for my personal news a bunch of times. So that's the reason I'm bringing them to you right now. And this article was written by the fabulous Denny Connolly. Thank you so much, sir, for taking the time to write this, and I'm uh, happy to bring this to the whole world so that more people can see your journalism. Let's go ahead and read. World of Warcraft, what level will my character be after the squish? World of Warcraft players can now find out exactly what level each of their characters is going to be after the Shadowlands pre-patch level squish. World of Warcraft's pre-patch level squish may still not have an official release date, but a ton of new details were just revealed about the upcoming Shadowlands pre-expansion content changes. In addition to some other new intel, players can now get a better understanding of exactly how the level squish will impact each of their characters when it arrives in the coming weeks. The next WoW expansion features two pre-patches, and the first one will bring a massive level squish that reduces the game's max level to 50. It will jump to 60 when Shadowlands launches next month. Up until now, players have been making a lot of predictions about how each level would scale down when the squish happened. A lot of the predictions were pretty close to accurate, and Blizzard has now officially confirmed a level-by-level -level comparison for World of Warcraft players. Shadowlands is bringing some massive changes to the iconic MMO, but the level squish is one new feature that has really stolen the spotlight in a lot of ways. I'll pause there. It really has. Like, um, I'm not too big into retail, but the fact that they're squishing the levels actually makes me think that I might like go back and try it out. And I know that sounds like blasphemy to some people that I've talked to in the past, but it seems cool. Like just like a lower level makes it seem like it's more attainable, you know? Like it seems like it's not everybody's way ahead of me. It's like, dude, they're only like 50 levels ahead of me. It's not a big deal. I can get there. So it gives you something to work up to. So I do like that. Every prior expansion has increased the maximum level by 5 or 10, so this squish is a new territory for the game that sets an interesting stage going forward. The change also massively impacts how new characters and alts will experience Azeroth thanks to the use of chromy time for leveling. As players start to consider where their alts who haven't made it up to level 120 will be in a few weeks' time, they can consult this table to see the Battle for Azeroth Shadowlands level conversion. Um, let's see. So 120 is going to become 50. 118 to 119 is going to become 49. 116 to 117 is going to be 148. 114 to 115 will be 47. 112 to 113 will be 46. 110 to 111 becomes 45. 108 to 109 becomes 44, 106 to 107 becomes 43, 104 to 105 becomes 42, 102 to 103 becomes 41, 100 to 101 becomes 40, and so on and so forth, etc. It's going to keep following that same formula all the way down until you get to, yeah, it just takes that same formula all the way down to level one. This explanation has been a long time in the works and should give players an idea of what sort of work they want to do on their unleveled alts in the coming week. There is still no release date for the pre-patch and the level squish, but many players are predicting it will uh, arrive one week from tomorrow. If that's the case, players are running short on time to take advantage of the current 100% experience boast that is available in game until the Shadowlands release date. And then he throws out his little thing. Be sure to check in back for the coming weeks as more details about Shadowlands emerge. Until then, for the Horde, boom! I like this guy, man. Throws the for the Horde there at the end. Once, let's see. Denny Connolly, go back. Hey, shout out to Denny Connolly. Uh, he's a Horde player, uh, just like I am. So, much respect. 
Shout out there, Denny Connolly. Now, there was one thing that I wanted to go back and, uh, let's see, use of chromie time for leveling. I'm not a retail guy, so if anyone didn't know what that was, we'll go ahead and read this. How to use chromie time. Follow these steps for new characters and alts. It's just about one month away. When level switch rise, level one who will hit the temporary max of 50. In order to do that, we activate chromie time. Once the pre-patch is in place, chromie time will be a new feature that allows players to turn on level scaling and make everything in the pre-Shadowlands zones level 50. This will also cause all quests and objectives from the pre-Shadowlands content to scale up to level 50. As well, players who want to activate chromie time after the level switch arrives will need to visit chromie and stormwind. A time-bending NPC that can just be found outside the city embassies. Once players arrive at chromie, they'll be able to opt into chromie time by selecting an expansion that they would like to level through. This will give them the starting quest for that expansion and will populate their dungeon finder tool with the instances appropriate for that selection. That said, players can still visit any of the expansions and level in those areas as well. They'll still find the appropriately scaled enemies in any pre-Shadowland zone necessary for leveling up. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't want to go into the whole article, um, but yeah, that's, that's cool. It seems like they're going to, you can level up in whatever expansion you want uh, for Shadowlands so that you can experience shadow that, that I, I don't know man i'm kind of indifferent about that that seems kind of weird like are are people going to be able to be like level one and level through outland because i don't i don't know how i feel oh, i do know how i feel about that i don't like it you shouldn't be able to be level one leveling through outland i, I don't know whatever or like north rent like see, you see what i'm saying man that don't make nothing Okay, well, it seems like they're fixing it in their own kind of way, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, if this is something that you guys like, let me know. If this is something you guys don't like, let me know. Um, I am happy that we kind of know how the level squish is going to end up working, though, now. Um, if you do like this video, make sure you like it, uh, subscribe, all that stuff. But most importantly, most, 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 most important, you guys, share this video. And I know most people don't just go share it on their friends list because I don't share like World of Warcraft stuff all over my friends list and piss off like my aunt and stuff. But share this to the Reddit threads you're a part of. Share it to the World of Warcraft classic groups, the World of Warcraft groups that you're on, like Facebook, stuff like that. I don't, I don't, know, if, I don't know if you can share it on to Tinder, but if you can share it on to Tinder, go ahead and do that for me too, man. I'm sure you'll find a nice gal if you do that. Uh, but yeah, just share this video. It really, really does help out the channel, and I appreciate it if you do it. That's all I have for you guys. I will catch you in the next one, and you have a great day. See ya.